Iowa taking a little bit of a break from the smoke and the hurricanes for some Wildlife Wednesday uh, photos. This one, I should have given a little warning beforehand. It might be a little too wild kingdom for some of our more sensitive viewers. Or perhaps this osprey is just giving this kokanee a ride. He seems to be smiling. Probably not, though. This is from Jay Stodds. An incredible shot, one of many that uh, he snapped this week with the osprey at Hayden Lake. I've received numerous photos uh, from viewers who make the trek to Hayden Lake to get shots of the osprey. Uh, enjoying the kokanee there. Good eating. Uh, meanwhile, this picture, it's a little dark because these guys are snuggled in to a spot here at Renee Baird's house at Cheney. She snapped these two uh, just this morning. And finally, what? What are those osprey doing? Uh, adorable shot from Mark Vogt of mule deer uh, doe uh, with big old ears uh, trying to figure out what the heck Mark is doing. Thank you for the pictures. All of these posted on my Facebook page in about the next 15 minutes. Now back to our regularly scheduled hurricane. Look at this monster. This is the GOES-16 satellite. So these are just the very best images of this monster storm that is left a good portion of Puerto Rico uh, uninhabitable at it, as it makes its way to the west-northwest at 16 miles per hour. This is, of course, Irma, 185 mile per hour sustained winds with this Category 5 storm. This is where it is now. Let's take a look at where it's going. This is the projected path of Irma up through Sunday, late in the day, late afternoon, making its way into southern Florida. And as you heard earlier from Nadine, then its projected path, taking it up uh, along the coast toward the Carolinas. This is the projected path. Here's a look at the spaghetti models. You may have heard a lot about these as we've tracked uh, hurricanes recently, uh, where the various computer models have it going. And Definitely pushing the path further to the east today than it was yesterday. One lone model keeping it out and away from Florida, but I think this is the more uh, likely path of Irma, again, making its way into Florida afternoon on Sunday and then up the coast at the beginning of the week. 84 right now in Spokane and Smoky. Our air quality is in the very unhealthy range. Winds out of the northeast at 5 miles per hour. It is Smoky in Coeur d'Alene with northeast winds at 8 and 81. Glimmer of hope for some precipitation as our flow becomes more southerly. That's going to help push out some smoke late tomorrow and into Friday. Some smoke and may bring up enough moisture to bring some showers and isolated thunderstorms. Most likely it will just be a few sprinkles here and there, but there is always that chance we could get a little bit more. National satellite and radar fairly quiet till we get to the East Coast. Cold front making its way out of New England, taking the rain along with it. It's cooled things down. There are 60s for highs. Boy, it's been a long time since we've had 60s for highs. In Minneapolis, Chicago, Pittsburgh, it was 74 today in New York. Meanwhile, 80s and 90s over much of the West, Las Vegas, 102, 109 today in Phoenix. Your seven-day forecast, smoky again tomorrow. We'll start to see that wind shift tomorrow afternoon, and that will help bring up a little bit of moisture. Perhaps ending our streak of consecutive days with no measurable rainfall. I doubt it, mm. but it is at least the best chance of rain we've had in weeks and weeks and Gosh. weeks. Gosh. Yeah, we could really use some too. Yes, we could. My goodness. All right, thank you, Chris. Mm -hmm. you know,